Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to run through what's new in this latest Cricut Design Space update. There's so much to see and I know you're going to love it. Be sure to watch right through to the end of the video so you don't miss anything. Here we are in Design Space on the landing page and the first thing I'm going to show you is this new tab called My Stuff. So if you look up at the top right where you used to see My Projects, you're now going to see My Stuff. Let's click on that and this is where you can see all your stuff. On the left we see that I have projects selected. We see my projects. A lot of people found it difficult to find their bookmarked projects. Now you can find it right here in my stuff. We also have ready to make and all, which is a combination of all these three categories. And as you can see, you still have search if you want to streamline for the project that you're looking for. Let's look at images right here on the left toolbar. We see bookmark images, uploaded images, purchased and all, which again is a combination of all these other three categories. You can also use this drop down, recently added, oldest, or sort them alphabetically. And once again, you have your search tab on the right. The next thing you're going to notice is collections. They're all available here on the left hand side and so much easier to use. So now I can just take a tile and drop it into one of my collections. Let's go there and see. And here's the project I dropped. You can do the same with images. Drop them, drag and drop them into your collections. I'm going to remove from collection. I'm going back to my projects and you'll see that the project is still there. Even if I remove the project from collections, it's still available in my projects. I still have it. Another way you can add to your collections is multiple images or projects at one time. So I can choose select here on the top right. I can highlight all the projects I want to move at one time. Let's take these and these. Then you'll click next on the right and choose a category or a collection to put them in and click add. We'll go back to that collection and you can see that they've all added in one click. Isn't that fabulous? Also, within your collections, I'm in Holidays, I can use subcategories. I can sort my collection by projects or images, and I can use Search again on the right-hand side. There are a few other ways you can work with collections that I'll show you, but before we move on from this screen, I wanted to mention that if you're an Access member, you probably already know you have unlimited collections. You can make as many as you want. If you're not an Access member, you can create five collections. If you're using a temporary Access, say you have a limited time, you just bought a new machine, and you make, example, 12 collections, once that temporary Access runs out, you'll be able to see the top five collections that you made. The rest of the collections you made will be grayed out. So let's move on. I'm going to go back to home screen. Another way you can work with collections is let's choose a project. I'm going to bookmark it. I like this project. You'll see confirmation that it's been bookmarked but you can also choose to add to your collections right away. Another way, let's click this project, edit a copy. Once it's opened on my canvas, I can go to save, save as, 
we have a title for it or change the title if you want to. And in this area, you can add to your collections once again and click Save. And one more way to work with collections. So let's go to Upload, Upload an Image, click Browse. I'm going to select an image and open. And we'll just run through to the last screen. And you'll see when you give your image a name and add tags if you want to, you also have the option right there to add it to a collection immediately. I'll click cancel. I'm back on our home screen or landing page. And before we move on to talk about the new font selection, I know you're going to love it. It's so exciting, but I wanted to show you one more thing. If you click on projects here under your search bar, we'll click on that. You'll see on the right hand side that you still have the drop down menu where you can sort projects by categories. I know a lot of you like this drop down menu and it's moved. So I wanted to show you where it is. Let's go back to our home screen. This is really exciting. Let's talk about fonts. Let's do a search. Let's say holiday. I see my projects like I always did and images, Cricut projects, community. Now when you scroll all the way down, you're going to see font tiles. Isn't that amazing? If you click the three dots, it will show you what styles are available for that particular font. You can also bookmark the font if you want to. And if you hover over and add to canvas, a text box will open on your canvas and that font will be automatically selected for you. Let's go to our canvas. I'm so excited to show you this. We'll click on text. I'm going to type holiday, but I'm going to click on font selection and look what we have. Your font selection is now a floating pop-up. You can move it around so that you can see all your text. We have Cricut, System, Bookmarked, and Recent. We'll go back to Recent in a moment. You have your Search tab. You have your Language tab where you can choose your language. And you have your Filter tab so you can look for Kern, Multilayer, Single Layer, as you always were able to. And now you have subcategories, so you can search different themes. We have modern, classic, black letter, techno, fashion. Scroll over and there's lots more to choose from. So let's see what this one looks like. We can see a preview right away of our text without having to go out of the font search. We can try different ones. So let's say I've tried quite a few different ones and there was one I really liked and I don't remember what it was called. I can go back up to the top and click on recent. And in recent, I'm going to see the last fonts that I tried out. So instead of having to go through all the fonts again to try and find the one that I liked, I can go to recent and find the most recent that I tried. Isn't that fabulous? I hope you're as excited as I am about these new features. Please take a moment to like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.